Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6515 in Candy Crush Saga. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So this is a nightmarishly hard level where we have 25 moves to clear out 86 jelly. And I would imagine some of them are here and we might have problems because the chocolate might grow, but maybe the chocolate will grow and collect this key. How else are we going to get this key? because we need this key to open these guys and nothing bursts through and if we make a color bomb this is the only yellow on the board we can't even strike it and hit it with you know make it hit the most prevalent color and get rid of this this is tricky i think the chocolate is going to grow under the crystal candy and we have to wait until this opens so we have to work in here that's my presumption until i find out otherwise i'm going to work off that presumption i'm going to go ahead and make this stripe even though Stripes don't work well through licorice, but maybe I'll manipulate that stripe to where it can work. Now I could do this. It would hit this and this. It wouldn't hit this because the licorice would slow it down, but it would get another stripe from it. So I'll go ahead and do that. This, this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this and this. Now if we can just bust through the most fragile part of this chain but of course well I guess this now is centrally located it's tough to do let's get rid of that licorice I do not like that licorice should I do this and hope a red comes down it's tricky yeah red never did show up so not going to worry about that gosh we need that key all right let's see you might wonder, you know, sometimes she usually talks all the time and sometimes she just stops. I wonder why she just stops. And I was thinking when I stopped, I really sounded like little Opie Taylor when I said, gosh, gosh, it's tough. Paw. All right, let's see. Now we have some stripes to get through. Now the licorice can't keep growing. It can't keep filling in. Gosh, I want a color bomb. Uh, um, oh, I have time bombs on the board. Let's clear some of this stuff out and try to get the stripe to take care of the color bo or the ticking time bombs. Did I say color bombs? I meant ticking time bombs. Gosh, I'm not doing well. All right, so I got the first part done. The key, the chocolate did collect that key like I thought. But now we have to clear out 22 jelly the good news is i don't think it is down here i think it's all in here i think it was like a mirage like why even worry about what's happening down here that's tricky but because i was i don't know i can't say i was focused on that area because there was not much to focus on all right i'm gonna play this so differently uh, first, I have to find out if the all of the jelly is just here, and I'm not going to count it out. Secondly, when things open up, I have to keep an eye on the time bombs, but I'm not going to worry too much about those. What I'm going to do is just try to clear out this space we are working in now. I'm going to try to make some good specials to help. I could do this. I kind of like it. I'm going to do this instead, and this... Normally, I figure out where I want to focus first. This time, instead of what I'm doing, I do know I need to focus here. Uh, but instead, what I'm doing is looking for just the best, most chaotic things I can create. These specials. That's what I'm doing on this particular board. And I think it's going to serve me well. I don't know if I'm going to win. This is a nightmarishly hard level. But I think it's going to create a situation better than before. Now, I have 13 moves. These are eight. I have to get to the corners. Let's do this so we can reach to the bottom. Let's see if I can get an orange here for a color bomb. <gasps> Not only that, but a, an option between a color bomb striped or a color bomb wrapped. The color bomb wrapped would take out lots of layers, and that would be so helpful. The color bomb stripe would reach into the upper areas that the color bomb wrapped wouldn't do. Let's just count this out. I don't have a lot of blue on the board, but if I did set this off, this presumably would hit here. Now it could drop down. Any of the 
horizontals are less reliable because they can sometimes alter their position. But it would hit across here. Now, if you don't know how to count these out, let me know. I've got a tutorial on this. So this would go this way. This would come down here. That would be nice. It would clear things out. This would cut along here. Uh, but it would probably fall down some because I'm using this up. This would come down here again. That would be both layers of this gone. That is nice. This would shoot across here. This would come this way. Not much help. This would shoot across here. Uh, but then if I do the red, the red explodes here and here, all along here. But I'm missing those top portions. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to risk this because anytime I don't use it, I risk it. What I'm trying to do is get just a bit more blue on the board in places that I think will be helpful. I could do the red. I think I like the stripe on this board more. Unfortunately, I'm really just not getting a lot of blue to show up here. And I am risking this quite a bit. All right, I'm ready to go. Now everything has been altered. All of those things, the places where I said things were going to go, those might not happen this time. Uh, but I still think it's a good move to take. I'm going to risk it just a bit more. All right, here we go. Ah, stink. Those did go horizontally instead of vertically, but I got one vertical over here. I think I just waited a bit too long on that. I was trying to set up a good situation, and I just did not get a lot of blue. And I think that's because we've got five different colors on this board. But let's do this. Let's make some chaos. At least I didn't blow up from the time bombs. I was able to monitor those. And at least I did better this turn than I did last turn. Not spectacular, but not awful. Oh, and I get to end with a color bomb. So now with only eight left, one, two, three, I think they're all in here. I don't think I have to worry about here. So it's just creating as much chaos in here as I can and basically forgetting about the corners. I can't do anything to alter it really, except by miracle. Um, and then I, it doesn't even matter to the board. I need to clear out what's here. Eventually this chocolate will come and collect that key and I'll be able to open things up a bit more. I've got to get through those rainbow twists, but I think I'm on the right track now. So I'm going to pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off, but then once I win, I'll come back through and narrate everything for you. Okay, so I didn't find this to be a super hard level. I found it to be maybe a hard level. I don't know, I got it done in between 20 and 25 tries by employing that method of just trying to blast through and make big things happen. Now I've got kind of a saturation here. I didn't have much orange on the board, so I want to look for ways to make some specials to help out with that. There we go. Now I've got a little more orange, but not much, and I don't have a lot of red. Let's take that out. There we go concentrating those colors down and then I probably should have taken the red here or there now we've got lots of wrapped candies and I'd love to get a wrapped candy combo I'm not going to work too hard on it I'm just going to look at exploding things Ooh, look at that a stripe across there before there's any toffee that's the really crucial thing I'm going to take that stripe and now I think I'll make that wrapped wrapped combo That'll burst a lot. It'll really change the board. And this toffee that are coming down, we're going to kind of eliminate them right away. Ooh, two of the jelly that are left. Now look at this. I only have one after this. Right up here, and I've got an opportunity to make a stripe. I don't have an opportunity to deploy it yet. So I'm just going to keep making moves right around here. Oh, another stripe. And there we go. Now I can deploy. And that's how I beat this level. I did find it a fun one because there was a strategy involved, ignoring the sides, just work in the center, don't pay attention to anything else, and I think you'll do well. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.